hey there. Oh, you must be here for some lazy git uh, information. Well, I have some information for you in the form of a new enhancement to our undo functionality. Um, so, this is thanks to uh, Gabriel Lanata. Um, the pull request isn't merged yet, but by the time this video goes out, it probably will get merged. And, where am I? And, uh, here's how it works. So first of all, just to set the scene, we already had a feature in Lazy Git for undoing things. Um, and I'll just load the, uh, the master branch right now. So, um, the way it works is you might make some change. Test. And you can commit that change after you add a, a commit message. And you can do some other things. You can, you know, uh, I can do a rebase to move this guy. I can check out a branch. And then if I just start pressing Z, I can start undoing all these actions. Um, now, that's actually the new functionality I've just shown. But what I need is the actual master branch. Give me one moment here. So this guy, I can just do this. Okay, so uh, on the master branch, what happens is you do something, you can make a commit, you can, you know, move it around you can check another thing. And then when you start pressing Z, it all goes backwards. Great, except when you undo the commit that you made, you don't get your files back and that sucks. And the reason for that is it's doing a um, hard reset, which was just a decision I made years ago that I thought was sensible because, uh, you know, the idea was that Git isn't really tracking your, f it's not really, uh, keeping track of changes to the working tree, it's mostly keeping track of just changes to the commits. And so it's like, we'll just make it a hard commit, sorry, a hard reset for everything. Um, but that's, in retrospect, that was a very silly decision and we should have been doing just like a soft reset from the start. So now when you undo a commit, it is a soft reset. Um, so if you, like another example of where this was, was a massive pain is let me get to a better branch here back to this branch suppose i go and do something here and i want to amend some older commit with that change it's really hard to undo that um you know if you put it in the wrong commit for example um I, you know thinking about how to even fix this problem you could well if you if you're lucky it's just a standalone um change and you can just remove the the change from the the commit itself that's easy enough in lazy git but if it's like mixed in with other things it can be hard to untangle um and you know the proper solution is to just go digging in the ref log and and try and find the thing and um re reset to it but now with the latest changes um that all happens automatically. So again, if I go and change something here and I make a commit, I can undo that. I can redo it. Um, what else is there? If I uh, make another change here, go and try this, put this in the wrong commit accidentally. Uh, where'd it go? It's in here, that's annoying. I can undo that. And for the uh, for the things that involve amending an old commit, you got to do two undos because back behind the scenes, we have a fix up commit involved. Um, and now we're back to the way it was. I can keep undoing. Um, now I've got both my changes here. So yeah, I think this is awesome. It's one of those things where it's just embarrassing that it wasn't this way in the first place. And there's really no good reason for that. Um, but yeah, kudos to Gabriel Lanata, who did a great job of um, persuading me and Stefan, uh, my co-maintainer, to uh, make this change. Because at the beginning it was like, this is crazy. 
doing a soft reset, that's never going to work. Um, but he won us over. And so, yeah, I think this is a really cool change. And I hope you like it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.